Good morning. It is so good to see all of you here with us this morning. Thank you for braving the ice. It is treacherous out there. And for our family who are watching online this morning from home, for whatever reason, we are grateful to have you with us this morning. And of course, we, were, we wish you were here in person, but we will take you any way we can get you. If you will stand, we're going to start our service with Go Tell It on the Mountain. On the mountain, over the hills and everywhere, go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Down in a lowly manger, the holy Christ was born. Oh, <clears throat> da, 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 the heavens there shone a holy light. On the mountain, over the hills and everywhere, go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Down in a lowly manger, the humble Christ was born. Salvation, the blessed Christmas morn. Tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Amen. You may be seated. We're figuring out what we're doing this morning. <clears throat> You're with us here this morning. Um, we are super excited to have Antonio with us this morning. He is home um, on holiday block leave. And so he, he I say volunteered, he'll say voluntold whatever, it's all the same thing, um, <clears throat> to do our Advent candle reading and lighting, and he um, roped Matt into joining him this morning. So if you gentlemen will come forward, greatly appreciate it. The season for watching and waiting is over. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. This is the light of the world, and the darkness cannot extinguish it. Who sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among us and all its people. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. Tremble before him, all the earth. 
Say among the nations, the Lord is king. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. He will judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Thank you, Javier, for that beautiful special this morning. You can sit there. <clears throat> for our announcements today, Merry Christmas. We're not going to have um, stuff downstairs today, uh, Sunday school, Bible study, um, goodies. On regular scheduled Sundays, we have... Um, Sunday school, Bible school for all ages downstairs, and always snacks, um, not just cookies, but they, we seem to go all out here um, with the food. So uh, snacks and coffee are downstairs, just not today. So, um, and then next Sunday is Happy New Year. Now, it'll be 11 years before we do this on Sunday again. So we can, by 11 years, we will forget um, what this is like on Sunday. So... In 11 years, we'll repeat this, but next Sunday is Happy New Year's, and we'll bring in the new year together here at Whitney. <clears throat> My voice will hold out today. Uh, prayer, and, um, prayer requests and praises. We do need to continue to pray for Donna's brother, Art. He is having a really tough go with his um, chemo and radiation. He has another infection in his mouth. Um, it's just, he needs relief, he needs hope, he needs encouragement. So as he comes to your heart and mind, please pray for Art. It was good to see Jerry this past uh, Friday night. Um, for those of you who know him, he is back in the neck brace, and the fusions did not work in his neck, so we just need to pray that um, his medical team is able to figure out how to help him and his neck. Um, do you have an update on Tom? He's doing okay. Okay, so it's a praise. Praise that Margaret's brother Tom is going home today. So wonderful. And then Carol's son-in-law Don, he is starting chemo. Let's keep him in our prayers. 
Donna and Tristan did make it safely to Washington. It was their first um, plane ride. Oh, just a second. It was their first plane ride, and um, they are having a wonderful time. I'm seeing pictures on Facebook, and they are sledding in the snow. Um, and then we also need to remember Pat, as she is the, now the sole care gov caregiver of her um, mom while Donna is gone, which is why Pat is not with us today, or why she wasn't with us on Friday, is she's um, caring for her mom, which we are so grateful that she is able to do that. Um, praise that Antonio made it home, and we'll have him next Sunday with us as well. Praise that all of you made it here safely this morning. It is treacherous out there. Are there other prayer requests or praises that I'm just not remembering right now? Ukraine. Thank you. Um, Jeffrey, that's um, Casey and Amy's son who played the violin on Friday night. He, um, they took him to the ER this morning with um, kidney somethings, stones. Thank you. Um, and so just pray for healing for him and that they are able to leave the ER on Christmas Day. They're, they are home now. Okay, so let's continue to pray for Jeffrey and just his overall well-being and, and healing um, today. We miss Casey with us this morning and Amy. Oh, oh. Thank you. Merry Christmas from all of us. Thank you. From my church. Okay. Thank you. You guys are so wonderful. <clears throat> Appreciate you guys. At this point, I think we have a greeting from Pat and Donna and Tristan. Oh, we love them so much and miss them being with us this morning. Tristan's quite the character. <clears throat> okay, for our message today, for our Christmas um, message, we're having a nativity skit. Um, and so, Roy, Sherry, if you could tell me where to tell people where they need to stand so that our online family can always see them. my volunteers this morning who were given <laughs> I mean, smiles who were given their their part as they arrived um, and so this is probably how it was in real life you know it wasn't scripted and it wasn't pretty um, there wasn't um, it wasn't spit and polished and all of that and so we're just gonna dive right in to the nativity um, my dad, Don Brown, is the narrator this morning, and we have other people playing roles. Um, if you don't see a part, like people playing a part, um, just imagine. Okay, imagine. If it says that they're shepherds, imagine shepherds. Okay, we, we can do this, right? 
Otherwise, I'm going to have some of you be my shepherds. No. <laughs> okay, we're going to imagine shepherds. Okay. No, we're not singing yet. Am I on? <clears throat> Christmas fills our hearts with joy as we think of gifts, lights, and holiday spirit. But remember, Christmas means something more. It's the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. So let's travel back to Bethlehem and share the story of his birth. If you'll stand, we're going to sing, O Come All Ye Faithful. I know I have a script to read, but I, I just uh, going to read the passage of Scripture, and we read this last night in our opening of our gifts. And following that, we uh, we usually read stories uh, at our time, and one of the stories we uh, read is a, about a little match girl. Now, maybe you may not have any idea what the little match girl is. A little match girl endeavors to sell matches on Christmas Eve to raise money so she can have something to eat or for her family. And she sits there in the, in the village. Nobody buys any matches. She lights the matches, and she sees a vision of her grandma in heaven. And anyway, the story ends with a little match girl freezing to death on Christmas Eve. And I think, why in the world did we ever start reading that story because it's a sob story, you know. But Christmas to many people is like that. But we have today um, the beautiful story. It says, in those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. Now, this was the first census that took place while Cornelius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. See thee lie above thy table. 
the King and peace to men on earth. How silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessing of His hand. Receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in, be born in us today. We hear the Christmas So, my wife and I asked the first innkeeper, do you have any room? But he said they were full and to try across the way. We did and got the same response, no room. And again, no room was their reply. Finally, I asked an innkeeper if they had any room, explaining we have come a long way and my wife is with child and we are so tired. This innkeeper told us all of our rooms are full, but I have an empty stable out back you may use. It's not much, but it will give you some shelter. Joseph, the baby will... The, jo the baby will be coming soon. Let's go to the sta stable, please. came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. <laughs> you can stand if you want or stay seated. It's totally up to you. No crib for a bed, 
back when slide the little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes. The little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love the Lord Jesus. Look down from the sky and stay by my cradle till morning is Shepherds. And there were shepherds living out in their fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And the an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Do not be afraid. I will bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and laying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of a heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory, Glory to, to God, God in, the highest, in the highest and, and on, on earth, earth peace. peace. Good will, will toward to men. Oh, 
Them and gone into heaven, <clears throat> the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that's happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. And then, seeing him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the earth, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ. Love fields and flocks, rocks, hills and plains. Repeat the sound in joy. Repeat the sound in joy. Repeat, repeat the sound in joy. No more that sins and sorrows grow. No thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow. For as the curse is found, for as the curse is found, for as for as the curse is found He rules the world with truth and grace And makes the nations prove The glories of His righteousness And wonders of His love And wonders of His love And wonders, wonders of His love You may be seated. Thank you for all of you who participated this morning in our nativity skit. We planned on having um, a special music at this point in time, um, but Skye was not able to make it in today from Middleton. So I'm going to read <clears throat> um, a blue Christmas prayer. This is from... Um, a blog called Philosophy Over Coffee. <clears throat> Around us, O oh God, the singing can be heard. Joy to the world. Let heaven and nature sing. This season is to be one of hope, eases our minds, when peace soothes our hearts, when love warms our souls, and when joy comes each morning. But there are many who do not feel this joy. Some might try. Others have given up trying. Where is this joy for us, they ask. The world has found joy, but some feel as if it has passed them by. Our minds are not at ease. We feel too much doubt. Our hearts are not at peace. There is too much to do. Our souls are not warmed. The chill of death is too troubling. Where, O oh God, can joy be found? 
We ask this as we come before you in prayer, opening ourselves to the possibility that hope, peace, joy, and love might still come to us. And so we pray. We pray for the lonely, that they might find comfort in another's touch. We pray for the downtrodden, that they might find relief from their burdens. We pray for those wrestling with depression, that a light of calm might bring them peace. We pray for those dealing with stress, that they might find the courage to let go. We pray for the grief-stricken, that they might experience the newness of life that you bring. <clears throat> may joy come to the world, O oh God, and may we grasp some of that. We do not pray for joy that is temporary or fleeting, but a joy that runs deep and sustains us even in moments of despair. We seek this joy in a season that can be less than joyful. O oh God, hear our prayer. We wait for Emmanuel, God with us, to come into our hearts once again. May we experience your love in new ways as we turn in love to each other. We pray this in the name of the one who is to come. Amen. I'm going to light the blue candle now. I hope this morning that the nativity reading the skit was a blessing to you. Saw many of your faces on Friday night, and it was wonderful to have you there. That is um, on our Facebook page, and it is on our YouTube channel. Um, so if you did miss it, feel free to go back and watch it. The music was lovely. Um, the message was on a woman and a hungry dragon um, up in the cosmic outer space. So it was a little bit different than your, what we got this morning. <clears throat> um, for our benediction, uh, I'm just going to recite um, the reading from this morning. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today, in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He's the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in, clo wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Have a wonderful Merry Christmas. This concludes our streamed portion of our service this morning. <clears throat>